Let's go. Welcome back. Saturday night. Oh, we have a lovely Saturday night. I'm going to pull up a chessboard. With some five minute blitz. And we have a Scandinavian defense. Uh, I'll take the bishop here. Usually, bishop comes here. Hmm. Slightly different. I'm going to go after the queen. Queen of my dreams. Preparing the castle. So this queen has already moved three times in this opening. And the idea behind the Scandinavian, or the idea behind not playing the Scandinavian, is the queen loses so much tempo. The queen's moved once, twice, three times. Let's count how many times this queen moves in this. Okay, this does weaken this diagonal, but I do have a light square bishop. But first I'm going to bring the rook here, then this. Okay, it's gone after twice, it's defended twice. Yeah, this is what I want, because I want this bishop to develop with tempo on this diagonal. Yep, going after queen, queen of my dreams. Where's the queen going? Queen's dropping back here or here. My only concern, though, is this pawn in this structure, in this Scandinavian, when you castle queenside, the rook and the queen are, have this battery on the d-file. Normally, anticipating that, I like to keep this smaller pawn structure, the pawns here, combat that. So I do have some issues here. Okay, I'm going to defend here three times. It's defended by the knight, the bishop, and the queen. It's attacked by the... Knight, Queen, and the Rook. And my opponent has some undevelopment issues as well. I'm just going for this pawn storm, trying to get this b4, b5 in. Yep, b4, b5. Okay, going after Knight. Knight is loose. Um, I'll just take that. The bishop will take, but the bishop is now loose. The king plans, I think, yeah. And then pre-moving here, pawn takes, bishop takes. So, uh, knight is pinned. This a pawn wants to run up the board now. And further, either weaken on structure or get a pass pawn. Mm, okay, so okay, I do have to watch this bishop and the oops, bishop and the queen are coordinating on this knight. Actually, gonna drop the bishop back to defend here twice. It does seem a bit passive, but again, I'm gonna try to push this a pawn off the board. Get this pawn is defended three times. It's attacked four times, but I'm just gonna make the queen feel uncomfortable. Go after the queen right away. Queen's not gonna take. Queen won't take here because the bishop defends. So I'm down on time, about 45 seconds. Materials even, kings are castled opposite. We both have a bishop pair and a knight and a pair of rooks. But what do I do about this? I don't think I can push this. I cross this queen. Bishop takes or knight takes, bond takes. This is interesting. Pre moving here, let's go. Uh, pre moving this way. Queen takes, rook takes. The queen doesn't take. There is a check here. Bishop can take. Or maybe just bring the king here. But am I worried about this light square weaknesses? As discussed earlier, I still have my light square bishop. Yeah, again, my opponent's going for this coordination on this long diagonal. Let's go after this. The bishop's actually not threatening anything. Okay, the bishop's threatening to come here, and then queen here. I'm going after the knight. So if bishop comes here, I can't take the knight.
Grabbing the knife. Uh, yeah, that's a concern. Right here. So we both have a... We have opposite square bishops. One has a light square bishop. Beautiful coordination with the queen. It seems very reasonable to play this. Going for this coordination here. If my opponent notices this lateral attack on the bish. But this is the way to play. My opponent should just play this. Bishop h1. Yeah, that's a good move too. Okay, going after this. The bishop h1. I suppose king can come here. So I do have this check, but king comes here, and what does that accomplish? Okay, here I can grab this, but there's a check here. What? Now there's a check here. Now there's a check here. And that's a mate. Let's go. Never give up. Never surrender. I'll grab the rematch after I sign off. I'll see you next time. Cheers.